Mm. Zach and Natalie, the union into which both of you are about to join is the closest and most intimate into which human beings can enter. It is a union founded upon shared experience and close friendship, and to the followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's a union in Him. Marriage is God's idea intended for the happiness and welfare of humans. A union embodying such ideals is not to be entered into lightly or without wise counsel, but respectfully, carefully, seriously, and in the fear of the Lord, into such a union you come now to be joined. I knew Natalie was going bowling with some guy she met on a dating app, but we both weren't so sure about him before she went. She decided to give it a try, and all of a sudden, she's texting me saying she's going to his apartment to hang out after bowling. I'm immediately freaking out because I've seen way too many murder documentaries, and let's be honest, dating apps don't have the best reputation. But I couldn't have been happier to be proven wrong when I got a text from Natalie approximately three hours into their first date saying, quote, I'm literally going to fall so hard in love with this man. What do you say about him? Oh my gosh, man. Wow. There's nothing fake about him. There's nothing malicious about him. He truly cares about all those relationships that he had in his life. You're a great friend, and I have all the confidence you're going to make a great husband. We're taking care of you here. Okay. Does it look okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd marry you. I would. Luke, you missed your chance. I'm going to cry right now. No, I can't. Hey. Hey. How cute. Thanks. Ooh. Nice. So pretty. Thank you. You look beautiful as well. Thanks. We went to the same place and got home. <laughs> The Lord said, it's not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. So the Lord caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. Then the man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. You will discover comfort and happiness in your marriage if each of you decides to give up your rights daily and put the other one first. You need to daily put on kindness, compassion, thoughtfulness, patience, and forgiveness. I wanted to marry you and I could not imagine another day without you. I vividly remember when you expressed the same feelings to me <laughs> at Luke and Andrea's wedding and you asked me, when are we gonna get married? <laughs> When I heard that, I thought my heart was going to leap out of my chest, and almost immediately upon meeting you, I remember wanting to tell you that I love you, but I remember settling for another word, I button you. I love how you bring joy to every situation, I love how you light up every room. I vow to see the best in you. I vow to put your wants, needs, and feelings first. I vow to put you first. I vow to be humble and gentle with you. I vow to help you carry your burdens. I vow to support you in all circumstances. I vow to never stop dating you. I vow to never stop pursuing you. I vow to never give up on you. I vow to stay and I vow to love you. Words will fail me until the end of time to sufficiently describe how I feel about you and who you are to me. So forgive me for that, but know that I'll spend the rest of our lives together allowing my actions to tell it better. From the second I saw you walk into the bowling alley on our first date, I thought, no way am I on a date with him right now. As I stand here today, I have those same nervous butterflies and thoughts of, no way is he becoming my husband. To others, we may have looked crazy, but for all we cared, we were crazy about each other. No amount of time spent together felt long enough, and the times we were apart felt too long. Every prayer I've ever prayed for you, starting back in middle school, was answered in full and then some the day I met you. My younger self, who struggled to believe I'd ever find you, says thank you. You are everything the Lord calls a husband to be. Patient, kind, faithful, reliable, trustworthy, and steadfast in love. I promise to surrender our marriage to the Lord daily, trusting that the safest place we could ever find ourselves for the success of our marriage is at the foot of the cross. I button you. I love you. 
and I've never been more excited for anything in my entire life. With this ring, with this ring, I commit myself to you. I commit myself to you. With this ring, with this ring, I commit myself to you. I commit myself to you. I do pronounce you husband and wife, united in the pure and holy bonds of marriage. Those who God has joined together, let no man separate. Zachy, may I kiss your bride. It's my pleasure at once to introduce you for the first time, Zach and Natalie Wallace. I just love everything about her and I pray that you bless this marriage and that we put you at the center of it and that we live for you.